uh, ikan icon siam ya. Yeah. Alright, we're back in the taxi, back in the boat. Gonna cost me around 150, 297 baht to get to Icon CM. I can, I, Icon Siam. Alright. I can never get the pronunciations right, guys, so please just forgive me. No judging. <laughs> it is what it is, man. What are you gonna do? at Icon Siam the iconic mall here out, uh, out here in uh, Bangkok look at these cars man wow what are these are they for sale even this one look at it That's my one over there. So the bulk driver wanted me to pay an extra 50 baht. Let me just get through these. Uh, I said wanted me to pay an extra 50 baht. That's because we went via the highway. He did ask me actually if we want to go, if I wanted to go via the highway or the normal route. And I said, uh, I asked him which one is quicker and he said the highway. You want mango? But I didn't know that there's an extra charge to that. So, and he didn't tell me that either. Because there was very little communication between us and very little English, by the way. So, um, but he was so cool. He actually said to me, no, no problem, because I didn't know. And also I told him that I didn't have cash on me because that's the reason I took the bolt because of the convenience of it coming off my card straight away so uh, but he was quite understanding and I'm so grateful for that that he, uh, he said no it's okay no problem he will cover the the 50 baht because I actually thought that the 50 baht would then come off my account as well but he said no that's an extra charge so you know that's what it is So this is the indoor floating market at Icon Siam Mall. I think it replicates the the usual floating market. Wow, these things look so amazing. See what I mean? It, uh, on the water there.
So much food. And then there's also the clothing area, textile. Oh, this is so cool. Guys, you can literally spend a day at the Icon Siam Mall. It is so huge. I'm only on the ground floor right now. This is the food market and the, uh, well, the floating market as well. The only problem is that I have my bag with me. Look at that. So uh, it's a bit uncomfortable to be walking with this bag. And I can't walk all day with this bag. <laughs> See me up there, guys. Wow. All right, I think it might be some car show taking place. Maybe this evening. Well, I don't know if it's already taken place. But you see all these classy cars. It's like a throwback to Cuba. This is the Chao Praia River. And uh, this is where you can take the boat rides, the hop on, hop off to various uh, little ports or piers and um, you can also take the more luxurious ones this is like the express boat I think this is one of the hop on hop off boats as well so uh, I've done this the other day actually it was more than uh, was about two weeks ago and it was epic I could stop at any of the other piers and, and just jump off and uh, explore the attractions around that area and then I could come back, jump on the uh, boat again and go to the next destination. So all these attractions are accessible via uh, the boat ride. I'm gonna make my way to the top there guys that's another um, rooftop area so I'm gonna try and get some views from there and see if I can do like a panoramic shot of uh, the river and some of the buildings surrounding it and then I want to go to each of the floors in the uh, Icon Siam mall as well just to show you what that looks like And of course these fountains, they have these um, fountain shows at night where the, they illuminate the lights from here, the color lights, and it's a water and light show. I've seen it, it's epic, it's amazing, and uh, it's something else guys, when, you, when you're out in, uh, at the Icon Siam Mall at night, this is something you gotta see. And so guys, I've decided to give the Grand Palace a miss. The fee is, uh, what is it, 500 baht. But that's not the problem. The problem is that I can't take pictures on the inside or I can't uh, film on the inside. Or at least not of everything. And the queues are extremely long. I've just been told by people that came back and they said the queues are extremely long. I don't have a lot of time unfortunately because I've got to go back to the airport to catch my flight. So let's just hang around at the at the mall, what do you say? Okay, so this area is called Suk Siam. And this is obviously where the uh, floating market, food market. Right, I'm looking for the elevator. Sick. 
Okay, so this is the convention center. And that's one level down. You can see some more levels down there. Ooh, guys, don't look down. I'm coming back to the terrace. I just want to see what's on top. But I think this is the rooftop right on top. Now it's just one restaurant up here and it's the iconic. <laughs> it's the iconic on the eighth floor. So uh, they have a little terrace out there, but let's go down to the other one, which is the actual rooftop. A polite terrace. Wow, check this out. You can see some of the other floors down there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, not sure you can see further down but that's the shopping uh, floor so we're gonna pop in there as well just to see what they have I believe that every floor uh, represents like a different country that's what I've heard but I'll, I'll check it out and just see Wow. How awesome is Bangkok? Wow guys, the views are stunning. Check out that skyline man. Wow, wow guys. So I love the city. Just giving some shade guys. And uh, just check the weather, it's 35 degrees. Celsius. It's hot, it's humid. Mm. Time to catch up on some energy because it's marvelous what Milo can do for you. Mm. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> I'm on the sixth floor. Right, let's go. It looks like a cinema on the sixth floor. Gallery, art gallery.
Yes. IMAX. Let's see what's playing. Godzilla Kong. Okay, Dune. Kung Fu Panda. Some names I can't pronounce. It's like some local movies as well. Land, like a kiddies play area. Great Harbor International Buffet. So I guess uh, while the parents are eating out here, they bring their kids to the Harbor Land. Play. I don't know, maybe. Down to five. I don't think I'll be doing all the floors, guys, just to give an idea. And you can see a bit of four as well. So it shows Icon Education and I think it's another play area but uh, educational. And then there's Kids Avenue. Right, let's go down to four. Icon Eats. Icon tick, as you can see. I like the layout though, I gotta say. It is so modern. Guys, this is like future stuff Ooh. Ooh. cookies and donuts Choose what you want and then it gets weighed. Right guys, so um, we see some of the brands some familiar brand so Ray-Ban, Polo uh, Sketches so this is floor 3 and it seems like um, more clothing but every floor has got these little pop-up restaurants Roxy, Ripcurl they're all out here Element 72 Loft 
I'm actually just making my way down to the lower level, to ground level. I need to leave, guys. I need to leave uh, Bangkok. And I need to get to the airport to catch my plane back to Cape Town. Obviously by, via Singapore. But guys, wow, man. I'm so fascinated by this place. I'm so fascinated by uh, Bangkok as a whole. It's been amazing. Wow. Look at this mall. And the people are so friendly and so accommodating and so hospitable. I'm just struggling with this big bag of mine, so it's, it's time, guys. It's, I really need to get going. Alrighty, guys. So I am at the uh, Souk CM, and um, I'm just gonna grab a bite. So it's like I heard this menu call my name. And it asked me to take the shrimp fried rice. So I'm gonna go for the shrimp. Yeah, there we go. The shrimp fried rice. Let me see where it's on the picture. Uh, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. Do you see it? Nope, I don't see it. But anyway, guys, that's what I'm having. Uh, there's no picture of that one. And then I'm also just going for water, but everything here is is uh, authentic and it's all Thai. There's no Western food out here. I think if you want that, then you have to go up to the upper level. But out here, it's all uh, Thai food. So I'm happy with that. Shrimp fried rice it is. This will be my final stop before I call the bolt to take me to the airport. Guys, I gotta go. <laughs> It's like something's holding me back, but I gotta go. And there it is, my shrimp fried rice. Some uh, chili sauce, chili with some chilies as well. Oh guys, I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna let you know about this after. I'm at the airport now, as I mentioned to you earlier, don't miss all the times at the airport. I called my cab or the grab at um, 4 p.m. It only got to me at 4.30 and it took an hour and 30 minutes to get to the airport. I only got here at 6. So, well, I'm early enough. I'm at least two hours early, but uh, well, what I mean is the traffic was so crazy, it was hectic. I'd rather be early and uh, spend some time at the lounge or get a quick bite somewhere than to sit in traffic and panic and stress about missing my flight. Especially if you're in a foreign place guys if you've never been before and you don't quite know how the system works and how the airport works. Fortunately I've been here before. I remember briefly. <laughs> um, the gates and how the system works but I still don't mess around with with uh, airport and airport times and stuff rather be early guys and uh, be safe so now as per usual I'm gonna find my gate <laughs> obviously make sure that the gate exists and then I'll find something to eat So my gate does exist <laughs> but it's way too early for my flight so I think there's another flight before and then 